Hey guys, how's it going? So today we're going to be putting a stereo in a 2013 Jeep Wrangler. Uh, so what's going to be happening is, first thing you're going to want to do is reach into the cup that's usually right here. Put your fingers against it and you can usually pull it out. If not, you'll see a flat blade spot where you can put a flat blade into the side and pop it. Next thing, if we go up here, you'll see up here, inside here, on the very top of the stereo, there will be a bolt in here. So you're going to loosen that off. And then take this thing. Yeah, oh yeah, you got to pull out the tray insert first. So pull out the tray insert, you'll find a bolt underneath. Undo the bolt right here. And then back inside here, there will be a bolt in here. You unbolt that. After that, this will just pull forwards a little bit. And then after that, there will be a little bit more bolts around the sides. So you're going to have to go around the side of it. And then you're just going to pull lightly. There's probably going to be a bolt in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull off a couple other things, like right here. And we'll see. Put a flashlight right there. Where? Oh, uh, let's see that. I'm not going down there. Okay. <laughs> So as you can see, right below the cluster, there's going to be a bolt down there, and there's going to be a bolt on this side of the steering wheel, and that's going to release this whole top piece. I'll show you once it's done if there's any more bolts, but yeah, you're going to need to remove that side, and you're going to need to remove this side, and then you should be able to pull this right out of the way. Uh, also that guard that's in front that's removed so you can expose the bolts that is just in there with uh, four panel popping uh, the popping clips so all you do is you can actually reach your fingers around it and pull it forwards and it'll all come off okay stay tuned for the next section hey guys so I've popped out the cowl here try and aim the light over here for a sec and um, if you look on the very bottom you will see the two bolts I pointed out so that way you know what you're looking for. So there's two bolts there. There'll be one in the cup holder, which would be Wait, right no, there. The yeah, whatever. Holder. Not the cup holder. It's just a weird pocket. And then on the very top, on there. So just remember to remove the insert. And you'll see that bolt. So you unbolt those. It's a total of four bolts. It's really nothing. It looks like a lot, right? It's a huge piece. And make sure when you um, pop this off, you drop your steering wheel. So that way, if you drop it you'll see that you have a whole lot of room so you don't have to accidentally break the centerpiece because trust me, you will cry if you have to buy that whole new piece. I will cry. <laughs> yes, well you would cry, yes. But yes, all right. So next thing you're gonna wanna do is pull out the four. I'm using a 930 seconds, but you can also probably use a seven mil. Uh, we've, uh, we're just gonna remove all four of these, pop it out, and then stay tuned for wiring up the pack module, okay? Hey guys, how's it going? One last portion for you. If you have this ring on the inside there, what I suggest doing is you can either try hacking it up and then shaving it to make your car stereo fit, which I think the easiest way for you to actually get this to work is to do the simple way, unbolt it. It's just two bolts and then drop it out. The only thing you're going to lose is top pocket holding. So you know that top pocket piece where we were disassembling on the very top where you pull the liner out and there's one bolt, you won't have a bolt there anymore, which doesn't really matter because you're not going to see it ever. All you're going to do is put your liner over and it's held in by a lot of pop clips. So you don't really have to worry about it at all. It's up to you if you want metal around with it, try and get this working. But for us, it just, we don't need this bracket in there. So again, thanks again for watching. Hey guys, so now we're going to be wiring in the harness. If you take a look here, uh, the blue wire is going to be if you have a power antenna. The two gray wires here, one will be gray, one will be gray black. That is for a front speaker. The two whites are going to be for a front speaker. Again, how it's very easy to wire this up. What's going to happen is you're going to have uh, the same colors on your deck side, so you're just going to match these colors up. Now where it does get a little bit confusing, is if you look right here, there's going to be another bunch of wires. That bunch is just going to be speaker wires and a lot of your main wires, but on this one you're going to have your illumination parking brake, vehicle speed sensor, and um, just uh, I think the other one that it's got here, I'm just checking here, yeah parking brake, vehicle speed sensor, your accessory wire, an amp turn on if it's got an amp, and uh, it's got some other stuff. It says so right here, you can hook up whatever you want from this list, but the one that you're going to definitely need is an accessory. And if you're doing a backup camera, you're going to need to be doing a reverse wire. The amp turn on's for if you have a very, you know, if you have the premium audio system inside your car. And of course, you're going to need parking brake if you're doing a double dip. 
But other than that, it's very simple. I'll show you once it's all wired up. But for now, all you're going to be doing, like I said, match the white to white, white black to white black, so on and so forth, and then match these ones up to the color that is on your radio. All right. Stay tuned. Hey guys, so we're back in the car. I'm showing you how to run a Bluetooth mic if you have a Bluetooth mic. If you have a Bluetooth mic or satellite, uh, you can put the, not satellite, but um, GPS antenna. You can put the GPS antenna up here, but as you can see, I have the Bluetooth mic. If we put the phone right here, or you can, well, you can see right here, you can see that that's the steering wheel. I usually do that because, like, this is a T top, which you can't really see up here, but uh, yeah, this is a T top up top, so this part comes out. So you can't obviously put the mic up here because it would be really crazy and you have to pull off all this to be able to run it down. So instead, with the Jeep, I'm just putting it right here so that way it's away from the window. So if you have the windows down, you're fine. And it looks clean. And it looks clean, yeah. So, and then if you have, we're gonna actually pop this off again, just for a sec. And put this up here. See how easy that is. <laughs> yeah. Um, can I see your phone yes, for a sec? Yes, yes, okay, yes. if you look right there, in the corner, you're going to see a spot that goes actually right in your glove box. Here, I'm going to put the light in the glove box. See that how there's a light coming right through the glove box there? That is right where you're going to feed your USBs through. As you can see, I put an auxiliary cable already through. You can reach it. If you reach in right behind that vent there, you can reach right into the glove box pretty much. And then you can drop a USB in there if it has a rear-facing USB like so. And then... You'll also see a strap portion up there. You can also tie in back there your pack module. So that way, because obviously if you're running one of these Jeeps, you're gonna have that little blue module there, which you're going to have to hide somewhere in here. Um, so yeah, just do that. And then after you get all that in there, that in there, Bluetooth mic up there, it's just this, you know, do the other part in reverse. Just gonna pop that, or pop your four screws in, make sure it sits nice and flush, make sure there's nothing blocking the air vents, and then click this back on, four screws, and you're back together. All right, well, I hope this video helped you out. If you have any questions at all, post in the comment section below. Other than that, thanks again for watching, and subscribe for more videos, and like the video if it helped you out. Thanks, peace out.